creating Laka was a no-brainer. These people have some fantastic legends that really belong 100% to an action game like the one we are creating right now. There are a lot of cultures that have disappeared from the world and they are still here and the more that we research about it, about this culture, the more interesting stuff uh, we found. According to the Tarahumara mythology, there have been successive destructions of the world. If humanity is corrupt enough, then they will be wiped out. That's the main plot of Mulaka, to convince the demigods to help you and prove that humanity is worth saving. The mission of the Sukurama is well, to stop the destruction of the, of the world, right? Sukurame means sorcerer. I think that originally the Sukurame were leaders. It's kind of like the most playable and interesting um, part of, of all the mythology that we found. Like, this is it. This has to be the character of the game, the main character. Nowadays you can Google anything, and with the Taramara that's not the case. When you have the task of representing a whole culture, you have to take uh, a lot of precautions. So we needed to go and look for authors that already made that research for us in a way. Uh, the people of Lienzo were very open to my suggestions so the myths could be as authentic as possible. So I think that's one of the most attractive things of uh, the whole game. I think it's beautiful because of that. It takes you know very old things and it turns it into quite new uh, cultural products. We worked really hard in making the game a game first, by mechanics, by a good combat system, by a good exploration system. And then after that, you know about the Taromara. Changes begin to appear. The, the younger kids become Mexicanized. Son de aquí gente, pero se fueron a vivir en Chihuahua. Oh, yeah. Entonces dice ahí en ciudad, en los jóvenes que están creciendo, que ya no saben hablar Taromara, están perdiendo todo de las culturas. The governors told us that whatever we can do to keep the Tarumara culture alive, it's a good thing. So what the game does is to recognize or to pay homage to another culture. Indigenous Mexican cultures still have a lot of things to offer. We believe uh, that uh, video games are really the best medium for storytelling. So with Mulaka, what we want is to engage people in the legend, engage people in the stories of this culture.